On a moonlit Kansas night in 1868, Frank Eaton witnessed the murder of his father by a gang of men called the Regulators. Frank was eight years old. Mose Bierman, a family neighbor, gave Frank a Navy revolver and challenged the boy to avenge his father's death. As a teenager, Frank found his way to Fort Gibson, Oklahoma. His skill with the gun earned him the nickname Pistol Pete. By 1887, Frank had served as an Indian scout, a deputy U.S. marshal, and made good on that challenge given him years before by gunning down the men who killed his father. Frank eventually settled in Perkins, Oklahoma, started a family, and became the local blacksmith. Due to his crusty appearance and colorful stories of the Old West, a legend was born. In 1923, the students of Oklahoma A&M adopted the legend as their mascot. Frank became a living symbol of the school. To all who love OSU, he is the original cowboy. Frank Eaton, he was tough, um, but he was also gentle, um, and he did the job right. Um, and I think those are things that really have stuck out that have made Frank Eaton the perfect Pistol Pete and made him the mascot that he is today, made him last 100 years. His look, his attitude, his personality, he sang, he played the fiddle, he would tell stories, he would he could make a bow out of a, a, a out of a stick and um, so he was just sort of this throwback to the days of old and everybody at that time was just in love with hearing stories about the Wild West and he was here's this guy that looked like he came out of the Wild West and he'll tell you all about it. Part of the lure, part of the charm is that he wasn't a perfect dude, he was kind of a rogue character and I like that, I like that embodiment of that spirit. You know, Hey, we don't want a milk toast pistol feet out there on the field. We need guys to stir it up, just like Frank Eaton did. Once you put that big orange hat on and you take on, you kind of assume that caricature or what you think that Western psyche was like. And so that's why you see in each of these pistol peats dawn a different walk. Pistol Pete didn't just walk down the street. He had bow legs and he sauntered down the street and that sucker was cocky and he wasn't afraid of anything and you need to look like that every time you do anything. If you blow your nose, you need to blow your nose like a really cocky, badass cowboy. I put everything on as Pete and then I put the chaps on, the spurs on. Uh, you feel the rhythm of the spurs hitting the ground when you're walking and stuff and it's, it's just like you become somebody else and my friends say it all the time, they're like, I, like, at the snap of a finger, as soon as you put everything on and put, set that head on your shoulders, it's just like, it's different. I don't know any other university who is so tied to their mascot, where their appearances mean so much to people. I'll, I'll circle you back to, to uh, 2018. It was the 50th anniversary of having a Pistol Pete as a mascot. And we were down on the field and, and people were cheering and it was a very nice moment. Afterwards, one of my close friends said that people around him were, were weeping. They were tearing up. And I thought that was a little odd. And I asked him what he thought. And he said, Kurt, I think it's Santa Claus effect. I sat on Pistol Pete's lap. My kids sat on Pistol Pete's lap. Now my grandkids sat on Pistol Pete's lap. So there's, there's a legacy idea here that's very strong with our fans. What it means to have been Pistol Pete today is, um, it's, it's historical. I mean, you're part of this history. And um, it, it's kind of hard to, to capture in words except to say that you're, you're honored to be able to have represented the school. And um, I get the biggest kick out of watching these guys today. I think that Pete's definitely taught me a lot of things about me as a person and like what's important in life you know the the little things that are important in life and just the connections that are so valuable and uh, just being honest and transparent with people and just loving people for who they are I think all that adds up it's made a world of difference for sure in my personal life
I think to further the legacy of Pete, uh, in one sense, uh, Pete metaphorically needs to be like your parents. Uh, Pete needs to be the center of the spirit of Oklahoma State. So there's an ebb and flow, if you will, to, but we need to make sure that Pistol Pete, and all it means, is always a center of spirit for Oklahoma State so that people can come and go as they, as they want. It's about their Pistol Pete experience.